This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this vehicle. It is a 2011 VW Tiguan. It's an SEL with a 2.0 liter turbo. Uh, it's an automatic and it's got the four motion, um, all wheel slash four wheel drive. Basically, um, the way I'm, I, I have learned about this is that uh, most of the time, it's running 90% front wheel drive, 10% rear wheel drive. When there's a traction issue detected, um, the vehicle will immediately put more traction to the rear end. Um, the worse it gets, the more traction you'll get from the rear end drive. Um, anyway, this was a, a Chapman Honda dealer, new car dealer trade-in. And I saw this car, I'm like, it screams, crazy people owned it. Uh, that it probably lived a better life than their children. <laughs> uh, it's a really clean car. Um, just, I don't know. It just looked really nice car and I just had to have it. So it's here. Anyway, um, all we did was send it to the car wash, get it inspected. There's nothing going on here at all. Um, uh, so got a car wash, didn't even go to detail. This is how it looked when we bought it. Had a little bit of dust on it this morning, so I took it to the car wash, and that's that. Uh, undercarriage looks pretty much like the rest of the car. Great. Uh, you got some nice Bridgestone tires on it. They look like they're probably 50, 60% tread. The only thing I've noticed here is there's a there's a couple there's a door ding here and a door ding here and one on the driver's side. Um, other than that, that's about it. I do know that everything works. Roof and the uh, panorama stuff works great. Um, just a really nice car. My job in these videos, though, is to look for the problems. Um, and aside from a couple real light door dings, um, there aren't too many problems. It's got a little mini t uh, trailer hitch back here. It's an Arizona vehicle, which is great news. It's got the seal on the on the carpet, so I left the mats in the back because I didn't want to get them dirty. We've had a bunch of rain here lately. Although you wouldn't know from this video, but it just stopped pouring here yesterday. Um, here is the uh, auto check. This will be linked in the ad. I ran it uh, today, 118 of 23. Let's see. It says uh, no title brands. It's clean. Uh, no issues. Uh, auction brands issues. Um, no accident issues. The rest are the same thing. I'm just uh, those are the most important ones. No accident uh, damage at all. Boring auto checks are beautiful, and it was born in Arizona, so you don't have rust. is not an issue, obviously. And first owner owned it up to 58,000 miles, and the next owner owned it all the way to today, and they serviced it at. Larry Miller uh, Volkswagen, which is right down the street from us here, and it was last serviced, 1020 of 22, uh, multi-point inspection, detailed transmission service, brakes, electronic ser electrical service, lights uh, service, uh, signal service, tires and wheels service performed. There you go. Then they sold it. Uh, for some reason, these people didn't take it to Larry Miller as a trade-in. They wanted something over at Chapman. Now Chapman, I believe Chapman sells VW also. Uh, I'm sure that Larry Miller was happy to find out that their customer serviced the car there and then traded it in at their uh, competitor. There's your spare tire and the whole bit there. Really pretty car. Where's the other door dang, right? Right there. Anyway, let's see, we have a pocket full of keys. These are fobs. It does have a key in it, but they use these as fobs. So they're basically, it's basically a keyless car. So, put the keys right there. And we'll start the car, and I will go to the hood. first it's got a hood prop so I'm gonna do this one-handed the hood prop is right there 
Not much to report here other than it's super clean in the engine compartment. Everything's where it belongs. There's your, you got a VIN right here. You got a VIN right here on the fenders and a VIN on the hood. So you know everything is original up here, right? There's your VIN on the dash. Little rock chip right there. Yeah, when I'm looking for a rock chip or here's a little rock chip right there, when I'm doing that, there's not much going on here. <laughs> That's me looking for something to do, pointing at stuff like that. The seats are in great shape. There's your uh, wheel lock key. I'm gonna put that in there so it doesn't rattle around. And your manual. Like I said, they already sealed the seats, the uh, carpet, I mean. Interesting, this is old school. This old school plug, phone plug. I wonder if you could tra tra uh, switch that to USB. I bet you can. This car is so clean. I don't think they sent it to detail. Well, actually they did send it because that has that stuff on the carpet. Usually that only happens when you send it to detail. <laughs> There's all your seat belts. Boom, boom. That. Armrest. Super pretty car. I would love to drive this thing home and drive it for a couple days. I just want to put the miles on it. Boom, boom. All right, there's your window, driver window, passenger window, passenger rear window, driver window, and you got the uh, mirrors out, in, up. And down, other side, out, in, up, and down. And then you go like this, they'll flip in, right? And you go like that, and they flip out. Driver seats the power, so seat forward and back, up and down, seat, seat back forward and back. You got memory switches, you got uh, lumbar. Yeah, it's moving. And back in, yep. Tilt wheel. I think this is pretty much as loaded as it gets on a, on a Touring. All right, let me get a seat belt on here. All right, let's see. And also, we debut our. It happens just once. We will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all time. There's your map. Oh, yikes. I guess you gotta have to have the power on. Huh? Today. We'll also the map on. Roadside. All right, so you got the map. Let's see. This is AC, I had the AC going a minute ago. It got real cold real quickly, that works fine. So I've got, I'll put it on dual, and that way I can turn the heat up. I don't know if you, I'm not sure how that works. I'll have to do a little research on that. Yep, that's hot. Wait, that's defrost. Let's see that one. Recirculate. Oh, it's already warm in here. Yeah, that's enough. It's blasting in here now. All right, now let's see. So you hit this button and you get this to go back the screen. Okay. That's a lot of glass. Uh, let's see. And then, there's your roof. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back. Just twist that that way. 
Okay, and then we're gonna, there's the cover coming this way. I don't think they use these motors, uh, the roof much, because when they move this fast, it's usually when they're brand new. When they get older, they get they get tired, those motors. So that's a really good sign. Uh, let's see, what else? Let's see, go through the do, 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 navigation, cell phone, pairing, all that stuff. That's that. Let's see, we have a parking brake down here. Do, 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 do. I think that's about that. There's your start button. This will unlock the hatch. It's not a, it's not a um, self-raising hatch. That'll just unlock it. It doesn't have motors on the uh, on the struts to open the rear hatch. That's traction control, right? What else? I think that's about it. Let's. Uh, that's drive. And then we'll put it in reverse. There's your backup camera. Okay, and let's go for it. All right, if you come to Tucson to drive this nice car home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive uh, full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, sign it off to you. We'll scan it in your online file and we'll mail it to you. We would scan in the envelope, we mail it in. So you'll be able to see everything, okay? Um, if you need help with shipping, if you are gonna buy uh, pay by wire and ship, if you need help with shipping, let me know early. We can add the shipping to the price of the vehicle. Uh, so you just make one payment for the vehicle and the shipping. Um, if you wanna do it yourself, you're welcome to. Um, the title will be in your mailbox before the vehicle shows up. God, look at these potholes that we're going around. Tucson, 8.7% <laughs> taxes. This guy is like dodging these huge potholes from the rain we just had. We don't know how to build the road. That's what I'm getting at. We have no idea how to build the road because we never get rain. Um, anyway, if you need help with shipping, let me know so we can get you your car quickly. Um, you'll just take the title and the vehicle when it gets there to your motor vehicles and get plates. It's very simple. Um, it'll show up with a 90-day non-resident plate though, so you won't have to hurry up and rush down there um, let's see what else deposits $500 once we have a deposit we have a deal until then it will stay for sale let me change this that's a boring screen no there you go set up a vehicle let's have a range there you go that's a little better um, make sure you get your deposit it's $500 once we have an agreed upon price get your deposit in otherwise somebody else might get their deposit in first and uh, you'll miss out. We don't stop the sale of a vehicle until we have a, a, a deposit. Last part of every video, I say the same thing that I have for many years, about 17 now. We don't have sales, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have a fancy location. Um, uh, we have what we have, you just saw where we came from. We have a yard that our uncle uh, owns and he charges a dollar a year for it. So obviously we don't have to pay for rent uh, we don't have salesmen to pay, so there's no commissions in this uh, deal for them. Um, we don't have a fancy fountain. We have razor wire. Uh, we have uh, night vision cameras. And we have cops who are really cool in our area that keep an eye on all the zombies walking around at night. And uh, that's pretty cheap. Uh, the, the auto mall has the opposite. They have people serving scones and lattes. They have game rooms. They have fountains. They have beautiful pavement. Um, they have tons of lighting. They have no crime, blah, blah, blah. And therefore, they have to pay a lot more to be there. And they have to sell this car to you for a lot more. We don't. We can uh, leave a lot on the bone. Why do we leave a lot on the bone when we can make as much possible? Well, A, we're not here to store vehicles, obviously. We hardly have any vehicles in our... In our uh, in our uh, inventory right now because we sell them so fast, we can't keep them, all right? And we sell them fast because we price them very fairly so that when you buy them, you can be the owner on day one and fix your car when it breaks. This car, like every car that we're gonna pass here on I-10, which we're gonna hop on I-10 real quick, um, will break, guaranteed. Every single vehicle out here is going to break. It's really when. All right. Now, if you'd like to add $2,500 to this deal, we'll give you a year warranty. 
Um, but I think you should just keep the $2,500 in your pocket and drive it and realize that you save lots of money buying from us and if something breaks, you can fix it. This vehicle is amazing car. Love this car, it's tight as a drum, not getting any vibrations, um, hands-free driving, right? I mean, this, this is a nice car, really nice car. Um, when I say hands-free driving, I don't mean like it does that. I'm like driving with no hands. This is really excellent steering. Still no hands, right? So, uh, very nice car. Uh, feel very good about this, but we are not like, I'm not Nostradamus. My brother's not Nostradamus. You don't know if the day you get it, maybe a window motor won't want to work or, you know, who knows? I, who knows? Windshield wiper won't work. Who knows? We don't know. Speaking of which, let's see if I can figure out how to make those work. Let's see. There you go. So, uh, it's on you is what we're saying. You know, if we wanted to charge you more money, then we'd be happy to fix something if it broke. But we want you to keep the money in your pocket. Vehicles like this don't break unless you drive them into a lake or abuse the crap out of them or, you know, wreck them. Um, take care of this car. It's been, obviously, it's been really well taken care of. But by the off chance something decides to break the day you get it, you're fixing it with the money uh, that you saved buying from us, okay? Um, otherwise, we would just sell it for, you know, a lot more money and uh, cheerfully say, yeah, send it back and we'll fix it, you know? Well, uh, I would rather have you guys have the money up front, especially on a car like this. It's hard to imagine something breaking, but the minute I say that, something will break. So I don't want to be held to that standard. Anyway, 17 minutes and 38 seconds is our limit. Uh, for some reason, YouTube just arbitrarily set that number. So at that point, which is coming up in about 30 seconds, this will just cut off. Um, so when it does, it does, nothing happened. I'm just uh, telling you ahead of time. This road is not exactly great and listen, All right, we're just about to 1738. Have a great day. Thank you.